<laughs> hey, look what I wore uh, just in case this happened today. Uh, you know what? It's you know what? I was looking through my sweater the other day. And I was, yeah. But next week I'll bring it. Did you see yourself in the slideshow out there with you, you and Chris? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't fit it all in the same thing. I mean, we're two big dudes, man. Right. All right, ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're streaming live. And three, two, one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Works in Progress. My name is Mike Vasquez, at Mostro218 on Instagram, and my partner in crime. I'm Scott Anderson, and you can find me at Skyderox on Instagram. And we are at the Dog and Pony Show, Studio right. 28, yes, Works at 4200, 4200 West of Verzi. And today, well, it's been a hot minute. We're kind of revamping everything. And, you know, we're going to talk about all the things that have been go- going on in the building. A hot uh, minute is, is 365 days. Yeah, like. just about. It's been, you know. Because <laughs> really, think of, I mean, I thought when the pandemic was over, things were just going to be like shipped you know, back into it, gear. But right now, it's felt, it feel, right now, it feels like it did when I first moved in here. You know, Even it, it, it does, Scotty. But at the same time. Yeah. You know, like, okay, the pandemic kind of, uh, sh- I mean, shot the cost of living up, the cost oh. of fuel up. You know, we start to see, we start to see the, 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 for example, fuel costs have dropped, but where's the trickle effect to the groceries? To, oh, it's not. To, it, it's, it's not. not. It's so not. It, what, what sense does it make, you know, when, I mean, I remember I was hiring contractors to work in these buildings, and and they're hitting you with a seventy-five dollar right. gas charge, and I'm right. like, and right. that charge is still on there, and right. I'm like, well, wait a minute, uh, fuel has dropped. I mean, no, I sir. think historically, historically, yeah, diesel has always been cheaper than gasoline, as far yes. as I can remember. Yes, yes. And it, it there was a point where diesel got more expensive than gasoline, and and that's what caused a lot of the things to rise because it was costing more money to mm-hmm. get these these goods to the stores. And I have not seen a trickle effect, you know. No, there's no. I don't. I don't feel a trickle. I don't feel a tickle. You know, the lucky thing about that Ford I drive is it takes eighty five percent ethanol. Oh, so you're using E85 on it. Okay. $3, my friend. When I can't find that gas tank, I will drive till I'm almost at zero tank to find that well, gas Well, you know, tank. it's funny. Um, ethanol is kind of the solution, the pollution. Yeah. But, it, you know, you get, I, I believe it's something like 70% mileage of what you get with conventional gasoline. Correct. But you're still like... A dollar less a gallon. You matter of fact, at the birds where we're at, because I seen you driving on North Avenue the other day on your way west. Right. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> they, didn't I just see him at 4200? Yeah. It's pretty quickly. Yeah. But you you go out into our neck of the woods, and it's under three bucks for, right. for E85. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. And this time of course, eight, it is four, 489 or 429. Oh, it's dude, ridiculous. Like, I mean, the city is, they, they stick Not only in the city, but, you know, my, my kids out at College of DuPage, out there, it's expensive too. Really? Yeah, the rich wow, people. that's interesting. I don't know. You know, you know I mean, they, you know, you, 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 you hit a valid point because every once in a while I'll drive out to Irving Park and York Road, for example. Mm-hmm. And, you cross the 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 county line, and that is DuPage, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Bensonville, and it's the 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 price of gasoline is cheaper on yep. 25th and Grand yep. where I live at yep. in that area. Then you know it's not much, 15 cents a gallon, but you know that adds up. That's a buck fifty for every 10 bucks that you put in your tank. You know. Listen, I something's got to give because uh, I I I drive now. I'm driving not only here and back. Which isn't that, it's only 15 miles, but it's the time it takes. The time. And, I, and then I'm driving from here. When I leave here, I'm going all the way to College of DuPage. Wow. To pick up your, your, your my, kid. You know, my son, yeah, because he hasn't had his driver's license that long. Not and yet, not yet. A little, you know, just getting back and forth and getting used to the repetition of going there. You know, that's a real interesting thing you just said, Scott. What's that? Because in my house, there's a debate, mm-hmm. Okay. Me and my wife, you know, we talk about, she wants to get my son a new car. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't give an 18-year-old, an he'll be 18 in a couple months, you don't give an 18-year-old a brand new car. You no. got to buy him a demolition derby car. Yeah, yeah. So he can become familiar with the road. Yeah. It's like, you know, I want him in a safe car. 
I'll build him a safe car. We'll put freaking yeah. Ram bumpers on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is do you have that same debate at home with your with your wife about uh your your kid in college and and having a new car and stuff? Uh, I'm gonna say yes because there are tones of what you're saying that weave in and out because there's so much. But but even to this, it was foggy the other night. It was foggy the other night, so I said, "Hey man, put your, it was ten o'clock. Put your shoes on. Let's go." We drove around the block a few times because it was really foggy. But he's never driven in fog in his life. <laughs> <laughs> right so i so i said hey listen we're gonna go find a parking lot when it, it's the minute it gets icy we're going to the parking lot we're gonna do donuts i don't want to do that i don't want to do that <laughs> listen you wanna, we're, gonna, but, we're yeah. gonna do things that are gonna put you and make you feel in a safe environment that you right. don't want to get into at 70 miles on a freeway for the first time right nobody not, ever did that for me not only that but we also have to teach them right. to be responsible so, behind yeah. the wheel because yeah, yeah, yeah. another no. thing that that us, the parents, right. what do we feel is the uh, the premiums from our insurance drastically oh, rise? That's, oh, that's another. Yeah, that one went up. Is this about us or is this about work? Okay. Well, you know, I mean, listen. It's, <laughs> we were talking about the gas it costs. The gas it costs to get here isn't the issue. It's the gas from here to college. But you know what? That's only going to be temporary until... We have enough confidence to say, okay, you can drive all the way down Butterfield. You can take the streets versus yeah. 55. I mean, eventually we get there, but yeah. you're yeah. not going to put your, your son in a $60,000 yeah. yeah. brand new car so he can learn how to drive. Anyway. <laughs> you're not going to yeah, right. put him in a $15,000 we, we car. We did steer away from our, right. from our original yeah. mission. This, but is, uh, this is the works... Works in, progress. Works in progress. I am the street talk. He is the artist. That's correct. I do a lot of art things. I draw, I paint, but I haven't painted in a long time. I mostly do photography. You know what? You are this. one of the best. And I'm not saying it because, you mm -hmm. know, we're roadies mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. but you are one of the best photographers that I've experienced or if I, I've had around me. I've oh, that's very here. nice. Aerial shots, some of your drone shots. Yeah. I mean, I see some of the photography art that's available here at 4200 West Diversity yeah, this, in the lobby. Crazy stuff. Everything that's out here. Is for sale. Everything's for sale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mark um, said that, right? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, you are phenomenal oh, thank you, thank with you, a camera and a drone. I mean, I just bought one on Timo, one of those little oh, yeah? fifty dollar drones. Cause oh, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I want to learn how. I want to master the drone. Yeah, you know, good for your car shows. I ate right? car shows for things that for happen anything. here. It's like flying you know. a kite for adults. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what? But the problem is, Scotty, that every time I bought one of those cheap little drones and I've taken it out on a windy day, it, well, gets, it gets run over by a metro. Listen, I'm going to stop you at cheap. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get what you pay for. So that's what I, I got so many cheap ones. I said, it's making me crazy. And then I said, how much does that one cost? What? What? I'm not spending eleven hundred bucks and I waited and waited and then it came down and I bought it for eight hundred dollars. It's crazy because I'm pretty sure you spent that eleven hundred dollars on cheap drones. Of course. <laughs> yeah. of course. But once I got that professional changed the game, game changer. And now the rate of technology is so fast. They've got they got easily eight new models on the market right now that you can buy from DJI. Well, you know what? DJI. When, when I'm ready to buy my yeah. drone, I'm coming to see you yeah, because I'll you be, are I'll be the one I bought in the park. You are the the, the, the uh, specialista oh, of you. the drones. Thank you. Well, you know, be, hey, there's a really good there's a lot of good photographers, but thank you for those uh, kind words. And you're a uh, uh, you're yes. a multi master too. We're here on the mic. Twenty years. I'm what? Twenty years in Playboy. Fifteen. Fifteen years. 15, yeah. I mean. It's interesting. Not, I mean, your resume is phenomenal. Playboy. Right. <laughs> There's people that would donate a kidney to work at Playboy. And I know. You are, I'm sitting here right. with an actual Playboy photographer, and I, I admire you for that. You know, there's a lot of things going on here at this building. At week by week, we're going to cover everything. We'd like, you know, doors are open. It's an exciting building. Oh, oh, oh. It was exciting I mean, when I moved in. I you moved know, in in 2018. Let, let's rewind to a month ago. Okay. So a month ago, we... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. this, is, this so. is our art. Right, right. This you know, is our art today. You know, uh, Scotty was a... Was a there, right? He was a photographer. I was an on-air DJ for right. Spanish radio right. for 17 years. Wow. 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 You know... That's amazing. I have, like... I think that some of the best times that I spent in my life was during that the, the course of the career because I would, here you are I was a street kid, 
Yeah. You know, I was born and raised All in right, Humble Park. Let's talk about it. When in nobody, Humble Park, really? Nobody wanted to live in Humble Park because of the gang. You were born in the hospital over there? I was driven from the hospital to 2515 West Division where my mom resided till three years ago that she passed since 1964. Wow. That is when my mom moved to that building and most wow. of my siblings were brought home from the hospital to that building. We own it. We've, you know, my sister's had it for the last 25 oh, years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why. Um, that's great. And, you know, here I am. I end up, I've always dealt with these old buildings. I mean, yeah. radio doesn't pay unless you make a name and, sure. right. you know, right. I, I, I always looked at as my plan B, you know, mm -hmm. you know, my son is an artist mm -hmm. okay. and I'm you know, he's always yeah. music, music, music. And I'm like, kid. I gave 17 years to the music, but that was my plan B. If something would have happened in, in the course of those 17 years, then, hey, blessed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Obviously, the only thing that happened that I had a lot of good times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Hung out with a lot of artists sure. from Pitbull all the way down to Enrique oh, Iglesias. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got a little concert coming out this weekend. Yeah, they had the, the trilogy. Are you going to it? Uh, nah. Come you know, on, you, let me listen. I want to dress up like Pitbull like, for Halloween. Like, think about this, okay? <laughs> in 17 years, I hosted every stage in Chicago. Right, United right, Center. Right, right, right. The... the, sure. the the Aragon, the Congress, the 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 Allstate Arena. I mean, I had the best seat in in the whole show. I was on stage. You know what I'm saying? So I had my share of it. You know, you can let these young kids that are coming mm -hmm. up now, let mm -hmm. them be the next monsters of, of the Midway, you know? Um I'm thankful because again, I here here you are, kid. You know, I I started as a caller. I was calling into a radio station. Oh, yeah. You okay. had a friend that so worked I'm there. I'm calling in. No, I, was, I used to listen you to the show, yeah. and people would call in, and I would call in and make jokes. And right. one day I called in, and the programmer was waiting for me to call in and asked for a meeting. And I'm like, am I in trouble? No, no, no. I just want to have a conversation with you. I went down to, to the Go Coast. I met with, with her, and she asked me if I ever considered doing this for a living. And I'm like, no. I'm just having a good time. And she says, exactly. You sound so natural. I said, you know, my Spanish is a little beat up. Don't worry. We'll work <laughs> on that. I like your Spanglish lingo. Uh -huh. Now, Spanglish. I was speaking Spanish and English on a Spanish radio station. Okay. Okay. okay? And what year is this? This was in uh, 1998. All right. All right. Okay. And I am the pioneer of Spanglish radio. Because if you listen to B96, you hear Spanish commercials you and you hear English commercials on Spanish radio stations. Okay. You know, or they're, they're using both lingos on air. You know, I kind of showed that, you know, you attack that second, third generation that doesn't speak Spanish and you create a number one base. Mm. And, you know, I mean, I've been on documentaries. I, I'm on, on artist uh, videos on sure. their, their albums, sure. presenting them on stage. I mean, I... Again, the I, I was the the recipient of the Hispanic Media Award twice, and that is something that only TV people win. Mm -hmm. You know, this is how you know how quickly my popularity grew. I mean, I'm I'm thankful for it. Unfortunately, you know, I wasn't that young, pretty face anymore back in 2015. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You know, so let me make a comment with a story on that, just so we uh, we curb our appetite. But one of those kids from upstairs in here once called me a goat, and I got <laughs> and I got mad. I got a little irritated because I thought he was calling me old with my beard. <laughs> later on, he goes, "No, I wasn't calling you that." Yeah, kind no, of no, goat. greatest of all time. Right, but no, you know? no, no. Later on, he did call me that kind of goat because you're you're right, you are that kind of goat. You're an old guy. <laughs> wow, wow. But wow. But but listen, um, something happened between. Well, a few things happened, but life is fast now. Yeah, like very fast. That 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 the salad days, the salad days. You're talking yeah. about the salad days. I was there with you, man. And you know, my life could have gone a lot of directions, but uh, I was just ready to take anything on that just felt right. Right. I tried ad agencies; it didn't work, but that magazine worked. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, starting over at fifty. Right here we are. I met you in this building. This building is an exciting place, and I don't mean like 
I'm trying to be showy because we're we're doing this little show. It's crazy how amazing this place is. And and the one tenant that's gone that introduced me to you, you know, I remember asking Ron the next day, hey man, am I in? Am I in? He goes, I don't know. Mike's gonna he's gonna he's gonna let us let us know. <laughs> I think it was right, right, later. right. I moved in here, but man, this building and your talent and, and the talent in this building and. Um, you know, uh, I, 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 I'm already learning things from you again, but it's a, it's a, it's another start, right? And we're in a, I don't like this word, we're in a different season, but that season's brand new. Yeah, yeah. Because the things you and I have been talking about in personal lives, right? The place, these are all the things that people go through their entire life, not just us here and our friends, but it extends. Yes, to these, yeah. like, but you know, you made a valid point, Scott. Um, I learned something when I was on the air. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I would yeah, yeah. I would go do these live broadcasts at these businesses and stuff, and people would come, and they would express the fact that you know they were having a a bad day one day, and they tuned in, and and that I touched them. Yeah, yeah. You know, and touched them, meaning I they made you know you made me laugh, you know, because I was always pretty humorous when I was on air. I try to make everything funny. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, twist the stories, sure. the gossip. You know, and just to know that 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 you can make a difference in one person's life. If this stream, if this stream that we're doing right now, yeah, instinct, okay, instinct. happens to 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 touch one person, then you and I, we did our job. Right. You know, we're here. We're here to talk about everything that happens in this building and and all the cool things we do and stuff. But if we can touch one person, and and you know, they're gonna see this. They're gonna go, what Scott's saying. This place is phenomenal we got to go see this place yeah, yeah they come here and they're like you know this place was a prohibition building certainly owned, oh, I, I, oh, yeah I, I, i've been trying to dig them bullets out of the basement yeah, that yeah. are at the wall yeah, yeah. they're worth something yeah, at the yeah. antique shop you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah yeah um, we need that paperwork where's that you know, i mean there is, is a building if you uh, look license? up if you look up mm -hmm. on youtube mm -hmm. the history of the hammond organ yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. I in did. that video, in yeah. the beginning, uh, the yeah. beginning, I believe, eight minutes, yeah. it talks about the prohibition period before Hammond bought it. Ah. And then it it shifts into you know the 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 design, the production, uh, the right. different areas of the, the building. When I first moved in, uh, it's been a long time. Okay. Uh, it's 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 an it's it's. I mean, I've talked to. I I had some people here when we did the open house Chicago. Yeah. yeah you yeah. seen there was yeah. a lot of senior citizens. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I need somewhere to walk. No, I know, I know. Listen, I was trying <laughs> to take them down the the. I'm trying to take them down in the elevator. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm afraid somebody's gonna roll down the stairs. You know, <laughs> and and but at least their their legs are not freaking shaking. I'm coming down the stairs. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know that was <laughs> that was a it was a great event. I'm one of them. <laughs> I you know I must have given. I would say. Hilarious. Yeah. I would say a good six or seven tours of the building. <laughs> and most of them, most of them elders, yeah. they knew that this place was a prohibition building. Did they really? They were telling me, we want to see where Al Capone okay. shot. And okay. I'm like, okay. I don't want to take you in the, are you sure you don't want to take the elevator? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we want to walk no, down the stairs. stairs. You know, so, you know, <laughs> I had at one instant, you know, <laughs> a kid that we'll talk about later, but I had to tell Benito, man, bro, like, <laughs> like, can can you bring the demographics up a little bit? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs like this, you know, <laughs> re you know, re ready to catch somebody. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're, you're creating a liability for me, Ken, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but it, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. There's a lot of things to, you know, to see here, mm -hmm. you know, let's go back now. Okay. To, okay. to the, the event, uh, in September, we had a Filipino Heritage Month. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, this we, past September. We, we what did we 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 did about six thousand people in two days. Wow. Okay. Wow. I mean, of course, you know, some two of the, now that's in two, two days. days. That's two twelve-hour days. Too. Yes. Oh, right, dude. I was. I felt like I got hit by a um, Mack truck right, by the time right? it was over. I mean, but, and and then when it's done, it looks like it never even happened. Well, I mean, you know, because Mike's here to make sure that you know. I know, but that's that, how. That's what McDonald's does. That's what Disney World does. They erase any sign of negative 
attribution to something positive if, if something happened. No, it, it was a great event. No, anyway. You know, a lot of food. Oh. Mm, oh, yeah. I didn't see the food. Oh, my God. Eh? You know, what I didn't see was the bar they had outside. I didn't see the bar <laughs> either. We got, I was just... we got shut down because of the damn bar. Oh, that's You right. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. The so, neighbor. And, yeah, you know, the, shout yeah, out to, to Alderman Cardona because it was a two-day event. You know, there's some, the, they didn't follow some of the, the rules they were supposed to find. But he Did they still, sign something? Yeah, no, no. They, they, they're, you know, culpable. They, they signed, you know, they, I mean, we have a complete legal document that you have to sign before you do it. Anyway, you know, I call them on Sunday morning. I tell the alderman, you know, you know, you've called me on Sunday morning. Well, now it's my turn. And I tell them this, you know, this happened last night, you know, explained the whole thing to them and said, the, um, the license division said that in order for this to happen today, you have to sign off of it, and so does uh, uh, Commander Rivera. And which I sh- I go to the police station to go talk to the commander. Wow! I went to school with the guy. I'm like, come on, holy crap, dude! What are we doing? A George really? Jefferson moved up. Oh yeah, I just really? got promoted. I became the commander. Really? Good. We got we got connections here. Wow. Anyway, they gave me permission. They just said, Mike, we trust you. Just make sure there's no alcohol. And I told him, dude, I'm not even gonna let them give away alcohol. Let them, you know, there was a lot of a lot of restaurants from that, that participated in that from sure. the area. Sure. How fair is it to them that they weren't able to sell their products? Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. they gave me permission. We got it done. What a bean, what a bam. It, you know, uh, closed. Got the place back. You came in Monday. It looked like nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, you know? okay, so that's interesting. No, why why do other people get to have alcohol? Well. There's, you know, this building does not have a PPA license because our zoning is manufacturing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So PPA license allows you to charge entry and also um, sell alcohol. C- restaurants have a catering license. They can sell alcohol. But listen, there, there was a lot of shady stuff with these with, with yeah. this guy this year. Yeah. It's fine. You know. Yeah. I mean, they came. They gave me a couple tickets. You know, the the guy's got an agreement. He's got to respond for all that. Okay. You know, okay. we we're now we're turning the page. Okay. Okay. To this weekend. Right. Okay. This weekend. What's going on this weekend? Oh. Uh-oh. Well, Uh-oh. You, Uh-oh. Scotty, hey. Scotty, wait, wait, wait. You didn't know. I kind of found out. Thank you. Somebody <laughs> is sending emails now. So, so, so this email. weekend is Sesh's uh, fifth anniversary. Right. The Sesh bus is one of the coolest gadgets I've ever seen because. It's, it's a, a party bus. Party bus. For weed smokers. Yeah. No alcohol. No you get alcohol. In, as a matter of fact, I've walked in that bus. You don't even got to smoke no weed. <laughs> it's an okay. It's a, it's a freaking <laughs> instant, instant freaking like it's, it's contact <laughs> high. I go in, right. I go in, you know, to see, make sure everything's okay. Cause you know, I kind of play security in these things and, and. And you come out of there, and your your eyes are bloodshot, oh and, and you're, you're walking on air because you know it's it's medicinal grade marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so Sesh has a a private uh, private party bus. It's a private party bus. They're having they're hosting their fifth anniversary amongst the the people that support them. So it's it's not a, a open to the public type of right, event. It's a private they're event. gonna give away the weed. They're gonna give away oh. the you know. I mean, the tenants of the buildings are always priority when it comes to these events. You guys come, right? You, you're right. a tenant. You're paying right. rent here, right. Right. and you know that's well, part of the event for them. So the party's to celebrate the fifth anniversary of that bus. Oh, okay. Because that and you want to know a small note. You remember Ivory Mac and his his girlfriend? Who's yeah, 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 yeah. They won. The raffle when that sesh bus was here. Holy before, smoke! Uh, at the time that I met them, so then like three months ago in the summer, they said, "You want to come to our birthday party?" I said, "Yeah, where is it?" He goes, "It's on the sesh bus." We, Whoa! We won an Whoa. hour on the Whoa. sesh bus. So I went up to, I went up to North Milwaukee in Logan Square, and it was parked in front of one of those college bars. Wow! And uh, they invited me on that bus. And I went on there uh, for a second to say hello, and I had some birthday cake, and I left. But that bus reminded me of like an NFL 
or a college yeah, it's party. A, listen, it's a it's got food and, and it's a drink. freaking luxury bus. A luxury bus. You know, the uh, super leather reclinable seats. Uh, I call them stoner seats because yeah, you sink right into them. You know, on that so, bus. Right. <laughs> they're all they're all connected you know, to the matrix. Unfortunately, and they thought they're all look like they're half asleep. Uh, unfortunately for myself, I mean, I'm a weak consumer. I never hit in it. Um, right. right. You know, whether it was legal or illegal, I've been. Yeah. I mean, I'm indigenous. That's our medicine. Uh, that's my excuse, by the way. Sure, sure, um, sure, sure. But like, it. You know, the the people that that run it, like they are by the book. You know, uh, GTI, which is our our um, uh, our tenant, tenant right? Arise is our tenant. Ah, uh, they sure. they sponsor the, this bus. They provide all the. Oh, I see. The that that good marijuana that uh -oh. they get to smoke. Uh oh. And uh -oh. and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, remember, uh, there's always one of those vape bars. Remember the Osteen? I saw that. That was that was a unique at that party they had over there. In the yeah, other yeah. Tenants that was that place. was that was. So and cool. they had a they had a barista. Well, they call them bud tenders. Right, right, a bud right. tender. But he had on a long white coat for effect. And then he had a big bar built around him, and they had some um, they had some small traits. Yeah, they had some fog going on around him. But then they had three different areas. With three different kinds of marijuana, and it looked like a food gathering, like you'd see it like a buffet, <laughs> right? Like a, it looks like a food tasting. It does. And it they got does. all these clean, brand new pipes. And apparently, people go up there. I don't know. P apparently, people go up there and they get a brand new, clean little like pipe thing, and they get the the, the fresh. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they taste it like a, yeah. like a like a wine tasting, right? It, it it's pretty much uh, similar to yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> So I mean that's that's something that um that we'll be doing this Sunday. They're doing a haunted house effect. There's a oh. they're doing a whole haunted house effect. Neighborhood? No, no, no. I mean again, you know, it's it's a, a no, invite that's only. What you're about to do. <laughs> Believe me, if I invite people from the neighborhood, <laughs> we'll have a line wrapping around the block, you know? Yeah, right, right. Um, okay. And, you know, it, when uh, is that? that is on Sunday okay. from, uh, I believe, from 11 to 6. Ooh, um, during the day? During the daytime. Uh -huh. um, you know, I'm going to darken the hallways sure, and all sure, that good sure, stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and two weeks from that, we have the GTI. They have a... a it's end a of new, November, like Thanksgiving? It's actually November 9th. Uh, oh. GTI is hosting a bud tender party with the launch of a new strain of marijuana. Uh-oh. What's it called? I, I don't know. <laughs> I know there's a new strain. I know that every time there's a new strain. That's at the end of the night. Uh, that's No, that's... Uh, Wait a Two that's that's in the next the next couple of weeks. Okay, wow. You know, you, um, I mean, listen. And and I think you, you might agree with me on this. I will host weed events. Mm -hmm. Every day of the freaking week, mm -hmm. in in comparison to events that have alcohol. Oh my goodness! Okay? From what I've seen, what's the difference? Right. Well, well what? people have three tequilas. They want to go in the parking lot and or fight, fight or kill each other. People have a doobie. They they they're walking around with a right. smile in the hot don't, dog. Don't hit me. <laughs> right. Right. Just, angry, just make sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I mean, I get home later. <laughs> it, they're they're you know they're very interesting events, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there's never no problem. Everybody's so chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you know, little music. I mean the it's the the place. GTI sure. thing is. I mean next next week uh, at our and our, our new um our next episode, we'll talk a little more detail about the effects that they're creating. Um, they have some famous DJs coming in from all over the country. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's gonna it's be a like promo a promo type of. It, no, it's gonna be like a show and tell type of thing, oh, okay. where you know the 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 people that come to the building, the bud tenders, get to uh, get a class on how to spin, how to blend. You know, they're gonna talk about their experiences and stuff like that. You know. They're, Not uh, necessarily recruiting, but kind of like they're they're, they're showcasing themselves. They're showca you know, they're, they're pitching. They're looking for ambassadors. I saw, I saw a post from that meat hedge. Remember the hamburger place I used to do all that. Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. I saw one of their old posts, and it was for ambassadors. And and oh, I wow. tried it a little bit here. Uh, I just didn't get I didn't get through with it. But they had a whole uh, guideline list. If you want to be an ambassador for meat heads, you get free hamburgers. Take a oh, picture, post it on social. Right, right, right. Three friends. Right. We'll give know. you 10 hamburgers and let us know how that heart attack was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, hey, no, no offense. <laughs> meat heads, you can, you can sponsor right. us with a hot dog yeah. or not a hot dog, uh, cheeseburger, yeah. medium well with everything on it. 
And and I like either curly fries or they have all that. Ones. I they, they got bought out by Epic Burger. Oh really? Epic Burger now will have six drive-ins they didn't have before. I just oh, wow. yesterday. Wow, interesting. Yeah. I'm mean, telling you, the world is changing. There's so it's much hard. going on in the world. Yeah, you know, and and yeah, it's you know, always, it's, it, one sh one one part of it's dying, the other one's growing. It's always in constant. You know, it equilibrium. I I um um I've come to to the crossroads where I live today like it's the last day I'm going to be on this earth. You have to. You know, there's Perhaps, so much know, going it's on. It's hard to do it each day because, he, like today, I was so focused for four hours just to get these monitors, so I didn't get to think about that. But later on, before I go to sleep, I certainly do think about that. Because you know what? The day's already gone by. It was. Yeah. I was here at nine o'clock. What time is it? I bet you it's almost dark outside. I bet you it, you know in another week. Yeah, yeah it'll be yeah. dark at this time. Like yeah, I, 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 go to, uh, I don't understand uh, what is it with this freaking daylight savings. I don't understand with anybody. Let's just bring forward and stay there. Yeah. Do you know Arizona doesn't? No, I know it? they don't have it. Come on, man. I'm going to yeah. go there. Uh, yeah, I, a, a little, a little <laughs> it's more. It's really nice for a vacation. I've been a You know, I, I haven't been in that neck of the woods. Uh, no? Victor, one of, my, one of my former employees, relocated there yeah and he's getting rich selling burritos man like hey. he put a food truck together yeah he's, yeah. he's not even mexican he's puerto rican but he's selling mexican he's selling food. flavor there. and and um you know i mean he's staying busy his business has grown so dramatically in the last year that's great you know well, yeah, yeah i'm happy for him you know he doesn't have to you know uh, consistent temperature too all the time yeah. you can you can get your wheels yeah. unrusted you know I, you know scotty i've lived in miami for five years okay and after year number two, you know what I missed the most? What? The change of the seasons here. You missed the change of I, the seasons. The, my favorite yes. seasons are fall and spring. Yes. You know, fall when everything's when colorful. Talking, get some water. Fall when everything is colorful and the spring when everything's starting to revive. You know, spring, hey, spring represents life. It does. Because everything is... <laughs> you know, hey man, I, it takes me an hour to run that. It, it, it's um, it's a jog than it used to. It wow, well, you know what? I mean, the knees aren't what they were 25 years That's ago. That's what I'm saying, you know? you know. So now all of a sudden we're getting shut down. You just said it's gonna be dark at 30 minutes. I don't want it to be dark at 30. No, minutes. no, be dark at nine o'clock. Yeah, well, you know, Here, I mean, for you, we I got oh, have something. Oh, my, nice. This coffee is killing uh, me. Uh, what is it? Cocoa this Bars, sponsored by the Dog and Pony Show, Studio Number 28 at 4200 West Diversey. And just so you guys know, I mean, I want to, uh -huh. you know, throw a plug to the studio here. You know, if you guys are interested in doing your own podcast or yeah, any type of it. recordings, you know, I mean, we have a state of the art studio here that. It's so freaking cool. And I'm not saying it because the owner of the studio is here and because we're doing a podcast together. No. But, I mean, I've done a, uh, quite a, you know, quite some work with, with Scotty in the past. And, mm -hmm. you know, he it's been. performed here too, remember? Yeah, from yeah, LA. yeah. Um, you know, we've, we've um, pretty much, it's, it's been a, a great ride. And we're, we're looking forward to many, many more, you know, uh, episodes. And we're going to talk about every week there's something new to the uh, Somebody else to roast. <laughs> yeah, and how many tenants are in this building, by the way? I have, a lot more than I believe, be. 24 companies, mm. okay? You know, but, you know, like, Holson has, what, 20 studios out back. They got another 10 or 12 in the front. Right. Then you got Porchlight. They build the sets in downstairs. And the rehearsal rooms. The rehearsal there. rooms. And you know, Rowboat has thirty thousand square feet of the building. Crazy, Rooftopia. Uh, Rooftopia. I mean, there's so much to see here. And you know, believe it or not, we're gonna start bringing some of these people in. We want mm -hmm. to showcase yeah. their talent. I wanna take a minute to uh, sure to close our show. Yeah, yeah. Close um, first and foremost, we are at the Dog and Pony Show, Studio Twenty Eight at Forty Two Hundred West Diversey, where you can come in and we will. Produce anything that that you want to put on film, okay? Correct. We are Audio, the, video. the godfathers of film. Okay, let, let's 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 call ourselves that. You can do that. that. That sounds like a good catch line, right? Mark, that's marketable. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll be uh we'll be broadcasting 
once a week. Every week we're gonna bring on um, this studio from this studio, which is the Dog and Pony Show, Studio 28, 4200 West of Jersey. Every week we're gonna bring you a new topic, something interesting. Um, our artists within the building, Tenants things the building. that are happening, right. you know, and we'll try to stay off our own, you know, our, our own personal uh, topics unless they're interesting. Yeah. Okay, so don't forget to tune in next week. It, my name is Mike Vasquez at Mostro218, M-O-S-T-R-O-218 on Instagram, and he is... I'm at Scotty Rocks on Instagram. Uh, and you can find at the Dog and Pony Show TV on Instagram as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, I, I saw a politician using the word uh this morning, and I wanted to sh knock him in the head. I try not to use uh very much. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Listen, man, you you just got some you got some rust. We're going to work yeah, on that. We'll work the rust out. Me, I'm on air every day. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs>